Oh, yeah. All right. Let's do it. Cool. I like to use a little bit of diluted white vinegar here. Dab a little bit on a rag. And it helps to get some of those water spots out, some of those lighter stains out. There's a couple different ways to clean leather. Uh, the next step that I like to do is using a little leather soap, some saddle soap. Gives it a little bit more of a, a deep cleaning.
So sometimes when I clean the shoe, it gets a little like oversaturated in these areas where you see the leather still kind of wet. Um, to kind of maximize time and efficiency, you can address other things that need to be done on the shoe, like the outsole here, putting a little leather dye on there and a little wax on top of that leather dye can kind of really seal the this edge up, make it look a little, a little bit more finished. And while that shoe is drying, by giving it a little bit more time to dry, instead of using the creams or the waxes on there right away, which might kind of impede on the drying of the leather. You can kind of maximize your time a little bit.
voila a little better huh the kind of general approach with most of my shoe shines is a little bit of uh, the diluted white vinegar to kind of clean the leather up uh, that saddle soap and a nice big dauber brush getting the shoe clean is like number one some guys will just totally skip that process um, some guys will just kind of brush the shoe off to kind of clean them off, clean off any dirt or anything like that, or sometimes just like wiping it with a soft, uh, clean, wet rag uh, to kind of get any residue off the leather. Um, but I think, you know, getting them spot free is, is number one. You know, if you can get the shoe clean as possible, um, you know, you're doing the shoe a favor, but also the end result is going to be a little bit more kind of crisp where there's no imperfections. Uh, oh, great. Yeah. And then, uh, so doing that, you know, getting the leather cleaned up, then using, um, you know, a brush or a cloth to kind of buff off any additional residue from the soap or anything that may still be on the shoe. Um, getting it nice and smooth and ready for the next step, which would be the leather cream polish. Um, I like to use the Saphir Butte the Cure um, in most cases. Uh, when it gets a little bit more luxurious with some fine calfskin leathers, mm -hmm. I like to use the Medal Dior Shea Butter based. And that, like I said, just kind of gives it a little bit more of a glow on the areas of the shoe that might bend and flex a little bit more sure. um, that you can't really put too much wax polish on. Um, so you get that kind of going. And then you buff that out once the creams have kind of had an opportunity to kind of get in the leather and, and dry a little bit and then you put the waxes on and the waxes that I like to use are also by Saphir Medal Dior um, or Medal, Medal Dior mm -hmm. as they say, say it, right, uh, right? <laughs> um, but yeah I like to use those waxes just because I, I think they are the top in the world um, in terms of quality of of products that go into it, their recipe, um, their pigments, the colors, um, but also, you know, the end results, um, in my opinion, are, are definitely the best with, with the Saphir brand. Uh, so that, yeah, so that's why I choose to use that. And, um, and then the edge dressing, I kind of have my own approach that I've learned from various people. Um, so using the leather dye, various colors. Mm -hmm. um, my go-to color is the light brown leather dye from Angelus brand and I just use that by kind of what you may have seen me do. It's like take a little bit of that and like spread it on there mm -hmm. and just kind of color it and then going over that color of the leather dye with a little bit more wax mm -hmm. it really kind of um, seals it up and gives it that nice finished look to it without being like too plasticky looking like some other edge dresses will do kind of give it more of an enamel finish where where this kind of lets that natural patina of the stacked leather outsole kind of shine through a little bit mm -hmm. yeah i mean you do that and you know you make it your own approach to it you know everybody's got their own own way to get there but you know we all are trying to achieve the same end result as you know a good looking shine mm -hmm. How many cameras do you work with? Three? Three, yeah. Okay, so yeah. you got this one, you got the GoPro. Yep, yeah, so I got one right here, one right there, and one right there. Wow. And then I got my external audio captured by uh, blue Yeti microphones, one on each side. And I, Yeti. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I switched the, like the, I pan the sound on the left camera all the way to the left. And then I pan the sound on the right one all the way to the right in my recording software. Oh. And um, I think that kind of really, when you're looking from the up, uh, the top camera here, mm -hmm. and when I'm working on the left shoe or when I'm working on the right shoe, it really kind of captures that polarization of the audio, where it's Ooh, yeah. it's not as like combined and baked in. It's more like ear. Yeah, so you hear the left and then you hear the right. Absolutely. It, yeah, yeah, it kind of separates it a little bit better. What are these called? Like shoe mounts? Or? These shoe mounts? Yeah, yeah. they're um, they're known by various names online. Um, but if you search online for shoeshine butler holder, uh, you might find them. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, they're they're pretty highly sought after if you can find a space in your house or garage to bolt them into the wall. Sure. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. That's really cool. Yeah.
it helps. Uh -huh. But also, I mean, there's there's many ways to get a real good shine just by putting the shoe trees in there mm. and doing all this by hand. Mm. You know, so sometimes I get a better result just by having it off the, the butler holders there and, and just kind of using my hand at a better angle and just kind of achieving a little higher end result versus having them on the feet, if you will, kind of up there. For these shoes, I miss the brand. Uh, these are Allen Edmonds. This is the, oh, I see now. yeah, this is the Park Avenue. Okay. It's like their standard Oxford. Um, it's kind of that more conservative lawyer slash banker look to it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, uh, they're they really well-made American brand. Do they um, belong to a lawyer or a banker? They do belong to a lawyer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's a, he's a good customer of mine. He's been coming in uh, for about five months now. That's cool. But yeah, just slowly growing my yeah. business downtown and That's and try to, you know, separate myself from the competition and leave a, a memorable experience on my, my clients and keep them coming back. You definitely seem very client-centric around everything that you do. Yeah. Including your videos. Thank you. And yeah. Things. Yeah. Like, Thank you. Yeah. Um, my last question, uh, so you go by Team Shine Force for your, like, branding, but also, mm -hmm. like, hashtag Shine Boy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. Shine Boy is kind of like, like my... Like alter ego, like <laughs> I'm the shine boy. Yeah. You know, it's like um, I don't know. I think it kind of takes something that you know. When I first started shining, here's a funny story. I I um I had long hair. So in my earlier videos, I'm sure you've seen the man bun or the yes. long hair, the fedora with the hair flowing underneath. Yeah. Um, and I I would have my back towards people walking up behind me to where I was shining a pair of shoes at the shine stand at Nordstrom, people would kind of approach along the sales floor from behind me. And they would see me, you know, in skinny jeans and like a tight shirt or whatever, like in my hair and back in a ponytail or a man bun or whatever the case. And they'd be like, hey, is that, is that shine lady working? And I'd be like, um, excuse me, it's shine boy. <laughs> so I kind of like went with it and just, you know, stuck Shine with boy. it. Yeah. yeah I and like I was that. like, okay. That's, that is funny. Yeah. So it, it kind of stuck. And I'm sure you saw my, my car out there with the vanity plates. Shine oh my boy. gosh. Yes. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. So, but yeah, That's I just, hilarious. I kind of ran with it. But, but yeah, my team, uh, Team Shine Force uh, is the company name of, of the, the LLC that I own. And uh, I, I started Team Shine Force because. Um, I wanted to kind of assimilate a team of shiners across the world oh. and, you know, almost have like a, a running directory of, you know, say I get a customer from uh, London, I can say, hey, you know, if you don't know about Steve Skippen over at the Hilton at Park Lane, you should probably go pay him a visit because he's one of the best out there. Oh, yeah. And so just as, like having like a network of shoe shiners around the world that I can refer to other people. Um, and maybe eventually they'll, you know, like join my team or maybe I'll join their team. Um, but I just think having that like team aspect of, of a shine force of like people out there shining, um, mm -hmm. was kind of the original thought, uh, behind the company name. And, uh, yeah, I think. Very Avengers, very superhero. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah. A shine force, a shine force, shine, 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 shine force.